Hey guys, I'm going to talk a bit about this slider control and how I made it and stuff and show you all the properties and whatnot. So I called it a slider control because it represents or it resembles the slider from iOS. And I, I even put the um, iOS images on the knob here. The knob consists of two images, the knob image and the knob rollover image. The slider back bar here is uh, programmatically drawn graphics and the start of the back bar is going to be the knob width divided by two. The back the back bar length should be the length of the control minus the button width. And um, as well, you can't change the height of the control. The height is determined by the height of the 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 uh, knob here. That's just because the knob is going to be the biggest part of the control uh, height wise. And I think you can adjust the bar. No, you can't. You can't adjust the bar height right now through properties. Um, I made it so that you override it and draw your own bar. I'll show you that later. So let's get into the logic here. Basically, I've got a value changed event, of course, except what differs from the original track bar is that I expose my value as a float from 0 to 1 that represents a percentage that you can readily apply to anything and I like it this way and right now I'm just uh, times it by 100 so you got 100% over here 0% over here so here's uh, in appearance I've got knob image knob rollover image then you've got use hand for use hand cursor for knob so when you're your cursor's over the knob, it's going to use the hand cursor. And retain percent, that's uh, by default true. That just means when the uh, slider resizes, it's going to retain its percentage uh, across the entire control. Otherwise, it's just going to uh, stay where it is. You'll get something like that. And then you've got smart locking flags. I can only set one flag through properties right now, so we're going to set left. And we're going to change the smart lock amount to 7. And basically, if I let the cursor go or um, do mouse up right here, close to the left part of the control, it's just going to snap in place. And that's what smart locking is. You can smart lock to the left and to the dead center of the control and to the right right now. OK, and so here's the value property. So you get the uh, percentage. Okay, so the cool thing about this is that you can leave, your cursor can leave the control and you'll still be able to scroll. I didn't even implement that, it's just how it worked out. I initially tried to adjust the region of the control and make the background transparent. Um, but if you do this and you have circles and details in your control, then you're going to get this pixely border around everywhere. It's just it just doesn't look right in Windows form, so I had to get rid of that. Basically, just painting uh, the back color right now. Uh, so yeah, this this is a rounded rectangle that I drawn programmatically in the background here, and there's a, a lighter line drawn on the top and a light line on the bottom that you can see might be a bit thicker. Okay, so I'm going to add a new control, slider 2, extend slider 1, and we'll do protected override uh, draw bar. Okay, so we can comment out the base functionality and actually drag it onto the form so you can see it. Okay, so I commented out the um, the base drawing, and you'll notice that all the drawing's gone. Then you can do this. The drawing's back. You can draw stuff in front of that stuff by putting your code under the base functionality, and then if you do, if you want it under the the uh, basic bar there, then put it here. So just do, uh, I passed in the graphics object to this method, so you have access to the graphics object. You can draw readily to the background of this control. So GFX, 
and point empty new point this dot width and five. So this is just a simple graphics. That's my new my new bar there. That's what I'm gonna use in my applications. That red line. This knob here is not a, another control within this control. If I added another control within this control, I would have problems regarding the regions of the control, and I won't be able to effectively paint to the entire control. I decided that the knob is going to be just a rectangle. A rectangle position and size will represent the knob, and I'll just move that rectangle around. It's like a virtual control or button, and um, it's made things a lot easier for me to, to paint and stuff. Um, and also you get a bit a bit of efficiency with it. Okay, so there is allow quick tracking. You just set that to true and just click anywhere on the, the slider and the knob will navigate to that position. And that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to put this control, of course, in my BSF control library and that's on SourceForge.